Hello, and welcome to another episode of Wyverns and Weirdos, a D&D podcast set in the world of Fielor, uh, where we, uh, yeah, so has anyone got any plugs this week? Uh, what, what week are we? We are, it is the 19th of October. Days till the end of the world, kids. All right. birth, Mitch's birth has passed. Yes. Many yes. births this month. Yes. Very cool. Um, other October things will be happening. Maybe a Call of the Flu game. Who knows? My yeah. birthday of the crew. Yeah, oh, me. Oh, oh, I'm yeah. in December. Yeah, that's right. Mm-hmm. I always forget yeah. when your birthday is. I don't know why. I always think it's early year because because we didn't record one last year. Yeah, so we're already on break. Yeah, break. Um, yeah. but yeah. yeah. Uh, thank you, record listeners. We love you. Yes. Um, thank you especially to yeah people that have been listening. Um, yes. yeah, Jesse, Hannah, and a big shout out to Quintley, my knife wife, um, <laughs> who is currently in Spain now. Please be safe and yeah. Um big unnecessary feelings towards you yes <laughs> enjoy listening from spain um yeah uh we have been running curse of strad we're about four weeks in on that i think um having loads of fun yeah uh yeah so uh laura mitch and zoe are on there as well as johanna who plays rook and emily who is new to this whole thing um and yeah so new episodes of that go up on saturdays although you can get early access to them on our patreon where you can also get early access to these episodes or the audio versions of these episodes and um and bonus governs like my homebrew that i use and my dm's notes anyway unless there's something else that people need to plug uh, without further ado, let's jump into another episode of Wyverns and Weirdos. we're back (laughs) so where we last left off the party uh perused braxton's shop and claimed their rewards in uh exchange for the dragon um and some of them did a little bit of extra uh selling before uh bertie had braxton hand off a gift that he had bought for Caius, a belt of frost giant strength, which in a bit of subterfuge, uh, Braxton informed Caius that it was commissioned by his father before he passed, um, which sent Caius uh, heading out of the store, and Ross chased him down and kind of gave him an ear to to listen and a shoulder to cry on as he had a bit of a an emotional breakdown um and we left on the image of ross spotting a hulking figure in the shadows momentarily before it disappeared so let's start back at I believe Bertie and Anya, if I'm not mistaken, are still back at Braxton's. Yes. Yes. Yep. There Anya's there. done with um, yeah. what she needed to do, though. So she's, uh, I guess she kind of looks around and she notices that Newman's gone and she's like, oh, okay. Um, 
and she side eyes Braxton a little bit and she's like, Bertie, now I know I said a lot this morning. Something has happened and I think that's why things have happened. Yep, things are definitely happening a lot, that's right. Okay, okay, right. No, um... Is this about the dragon and the shadow knight there? Uh, no, no, not at all. It's, um, it's a personal matter. Uh, elves, elves, elves only. Roll me a deception. Elf, right? No, he's an Azimar. Roll yeah. me a deception check. It's Elf's business. Uh, what is her deception? I'd help if I wasn't in just general equipment. That's a 19. That's not bad. 19. Um, it's very charismatic, so I don't know whether he'll be insightful. Wait, yeah. hold on. You can't roll. What's that? Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, you, yeah. It would have been a 19 regardless. Uh, no, minimum is 11 on stuff you are proficient in, so oh, it would be 20, a then. dirty 20. <laughs> Rogues. <laughs> um, <laughs> It'd be a lion. Of course. Uh, well, I'm going to look into the whole shadow thing. So, uh, if you need a, war a warlock's expertise, uh, call out. Uh, well, yeah. Anya, Anya kind of, um, she looks at Bertie and looks at Braxton and then kind of scratches at her arm a bit. And she's like, yes, yes, I'll, um, if I need a warlock, I will definitely, uh, I'll come to... You, yes. If I need Warlock ex expertise, yes. <laughs> and um, he goes into his back office with, with the door open, but uh, yeah. Okay, she kind of she kind of gathers forward and she's like, Bertie, I know, I know you have a lot on your mind right now, especially with everything going on with Caius, but... Um, yep, yep, what is it, what is it, you? Yep, mm-hmm. And he turns like squarely to look at her. I may have done something very, um, quite foolish. Okay, yep. What have you done this time? Well, I may have kind of, uh, contacted Zothan Tazar. You what?! <laughs> hey, sorry, <laughs> sorry! Braxton pokes his head you? out like, you're all right back out here. It's fine. Everything is fine. Uh, I yeah, okay. Great. I accidentally called Caius a swear word. It's it's fine. Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, very funny. Cool. Sure. So how did you do that? No, I don't think I was meant to be able to. You know how I discussed with you this morning about using our patrons' powers against them? Well, uh, I was given this rod, you see, and uh, I don't think, I don't think Asmodeus intended for me to contact anyone other than him with. And I just, I know you're not well, and I wanted to know if there was any way to help you, and I just, I know I kind of stuffed things up this morning, so I thought, hmm, yes, if I can ask the main source, I, I get five, probably we will get at least one answer out of this, but, uh, well, I think that all I did was piss him off. Oh, great. That's <laughs> fantastic. <laughs> real, real big of you, Anya. <laughs> Excellent. Well, that's great. So that thing out there was because was of that, was it? Cool. Cool. The good
good news is um, you're definitely one of the prophesized. Really? That's great news, is it? <laughs> and Excellent! Excellent! <laughs> I don't think he wants you dead. But he also does. <laughs> he wants you dead. He doesn't want the tie severed. Cool. I great. basically... I learned nothing. <laughs> and now Zothram Tathare is aware that I am helping you. Maybe. Oh, he's aware that I am aware of you. Cool. Great. That's just news I needed. Thanks, our nerds. Yep. Cool. Well, if that's what happened, then it it obviously was a waste of time because I he points to his face, um, I am fine. <laughs> and his eyes are like twitching, he has like a tear like well one of his eyes. He's like, Okay, okay, cool. Um And almost fun uh, chat. Almost as if to emphasize how not fine he is, like the facade is kind of flickering a bit. Yeah, and, he's stressed, so like he's And the desaturated look is coming through. Yeah. Um, okay, okay. Actually, you're, you have a uh, relationship of sorts with Braxton, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yep. Is he, uh... Is... I haven't banged him if that's what you're asking. No, 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 that is not. I have of tried, but like, you know, I he's not interested, so I respect that. Know, like, and, yeah, like, no, and you're both like, no, it's just not. No. <laughs> is he like on the level? Will, if I, if he's we like, tell men, him. Men, I, like, I thought that was obviously obvious, <laughs> but like. <laughs> Buddy, mm? is he aware of what is going on with you? Uh, yeah. In part, yes. Not the so the star thing. Yep. You th think, like, obviously, my very clever elf fly worked on him. Do you think maybe he could actually help? Look, I don't know. I guess you'll have to ask him yourself. Be like, hey, Braxton. <laughs> I contacted the uh, the big entity that is trying to destroy everyone on this planet, and um, yeah, the no, I got no, nothing no, out of what it. What was that? That was going to happen anyway, as soon as he figured out we were against him, which I'm pretty sure he knew in the first place. Um, since, well, actually, no, probably not, because you were in our party. Hmm. Well, he definitely knows now, and he would have known. They would have known. It would have known. What are you getting at, Anya? I'm sorry. I got like a really short ticker today. Um, so like, uh, what are you trying to say? Maybe Braxton can help with the fact that you are dying from the inside out. Okay. No. Goodbye. And he face steps through the through the the uh, the wall and out onto the street. Hmm. In the puff of like shriveled petals, I guess. Newman stops at all costs to be seen. Like he, he does not <laughs> want to be seen. So he's constantly looking out in the alleyway and will hide behind customers if need be. Okay. <laughs> um, just behind like, the counter. We'll jump over the counter. Coming. <laughs> seen that coming. Um, roll, roll me a stealth check, Newman. Alrighty, we'll do. Braxton, I think maybe it's time you and I had a chat. Okay, and I think we will cut we'll to cut Tyus yeah. and Ross there. I want to know what Newman's stealth check was. Yes. What was Newman's stealth check? 26. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. So, that is incredible. yeah, Bertie does not see him at all. <laughs> so Newman yeah. on his way like back to the massive bags of pastries. <laughs> 
Like, we're talking like the size of Newman, and he's just <laughs> holding two of them. Hide, he like holds up the two pastry bags behind two customers, and then moves a third customer in front of him. <laughs> <laughs> That's so cute. I love him. That is incredible. All right. So if we're cutting to Ross and Caius, um, how far from Braxton's did we get? Um... Ooh, Probably that's going to be real awkward if Bertie face steps through the wall and then sees Ross and Caius hugging. Probably. Well, no, oh, he'd no. see Caius hugging a random human woman. But that's going to be that's even worse. worse. <laughs> <laughs> um, <sighs> Probably about five hundred feet ish. So it's not so it's not face step distance, but yeah, but more um, what's it called dimension door distance. Yeah, yeah. That's fair. Okay. Well, we're hugging, and Ross, like, saw this figure, like, disappear. Mm. And, um, she's gonna kind of, she's gonna let Caius kind of get out some more emotion, and then she's gonna be like, I'm so sorry, Caius. Did you see something in the alleyway? I just, I, what? <laughs> I, I just saw someone in the alleyway and then they vanished. What? Uh, what alley? What? Where? Over there, I... Do I see anything in the alleyway? Do I see anything on the uh, Both of you roll perception checks, please. Ooh, which is my good dice today. It doesn't matter what a good dice is for me with Caius. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, sorry, that was perception? Yes. Ooh. Give me that, uh, 19, baby. Ooh. Not bad. I, myself, am sitting on a pretty four. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, that's, that, that checks out. Okay. Everything's blurry for me. I'm, like, wiping tears from my eyes. Yeah. <laughs> so, Fair. yeah, you... Like, Caius, you don't see anything. Ross, you move closer towards... The, the alleyway to get a better vantage point and you just catch this this hulking figure kind of darting between the actual darkest parts of the shadows trying to avoid being seen it turns it's uh it's it seems to be humanoid uh in features but um it is oh, sorry it is taller than even a, a Furborg uh, or Goliath. It is not quite the size of a, a full-blooded giant, but um, mechanically this would be a large creature. It's probably about 10, 10 11, or uh, between 10 and 13 feet tall. You're not quite sure because of, because of the way that it moves. Um, and... You notice it turn its its head back at you, and you see its features, like its face is featureless. Um, but its face is featureless, but still seems to have some modicum of expression to it. Um, and it and what expression you can make out seems to appear like um a appear like annoyance that it got caught uh and it raises a hand to coalesce the shadows ar around it before darting off can i get uh can i get the two of you I'll get everyone to roll initiative just in case. Okay. Um, I don't feel comfortable with the atmosphere energy we have created. created in the studio today. <laughs> okay, asexual dice, please be good. Ooh. Ooh. That is a dirty 20 for Ross. Okay. Um. Alright. Uh. 
What is this thing? Okay. Um. <laughs> okay. Newman. 21. Anya. 14. Uh, Bertie. 8. Uh, Caius. 22. All right. Uh, okay. My lowest initiative roll yet. <laughs> and Pretty you still weird. managed to win initiative. I did? Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, <clears throat> well, uh, so Ross has walked over to an alley, said yeah. someone is hiding in the alley. Yeah. You do, you do manage to see, like, a couple of the shadows at the edge of the alley kind of coalesce into more, uh... Not quite solid, but uh, almost ghost-like form. How long since the dragon died has it been? Uh, probably about 45, 50 minutes. Okay, cool. Um, I'm... Yeah, okay. I guess I'm going to go down the alleyway. Okay. Gonna... Hey! Hey! Hey, you! Uh, so are you going to go past the shadows at the edge of the alleyway? Uh, well, I don't know if I can make it. Um, you, uh, yeah, because it's not too wide a street. So you um, could go past the shadows if you wanted. I'm not sensing any, like, immediate date. Like, they're just shadows, right? They're just you shadows don't that have know. Sort of moved. <laughs> that have taken on a ghost-like form. Right. Yeah, he'll do it. <laughs> All right, so you take, uh, as you pass through their spaces, uh, two two attacks of opportunity from the two that are on the edge. Um, so one of those is a natural one. Uh, the other is a 14 on the dice, which is still an 18. So that probably doesn't hit. No, you are eight off. So. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. Okay, I just got attacked by shadows. What? Ow! And Is... do I have time to draw a sword? Uh, yeah. Yeah, you've just used your movement. Oh! Can I swing at a shadow? Yeah. In retaliation? Yeah. I would like to do that, please. Okay. Uh, yeah, I guess as I run through, I'm going to... Ah, take a couple of hits and then just sort of do a mm -hmm. quick 180 spin as I draw my longsword and slice across. Okay, roll to hit. I will roll to hit the shadows uh, with a 16. That is a uh, 30. <laughs> that will hit. <laughs> now, you w please break down the damage types for this one because there are some resistances at play. Yeah, no worries. We'll do. Okay, so I have a D8... And two of these boys. I mean, it may all be for naught, but yeah. Uh. Okay. Um, so I have uh, six. Oh my god, where am I? There I am. Uh, that is uh, 15 piercing damage. Okay. <laughs> and 15 cold damage. Okay. Yeah, that's that's even even with its uh, resistance. Uh, it, that's enough to kill it outright. Okay. Disgusting. Um, in Always my <laughs> rotatory movement, can I continue the swing another 180 degrees and slash at the other one? Yeah. Uh, a nine, t oh, no, it's a plus 14. Uh, what's that? That's 23 to hit. <laughs> yeah, that will hit. Okay. Do that again then. Um, in that case, that is uh, 12 points of piercing yeah. and only 5 points of cold. Okay, so 12 and then 5 is... So you notice that the piercing, because it's a magic weapon, seems to be going through, but the cold seems to be resisted. Um, yeah, uh, and this one is still standing. Uh, okay. All right. Uh, Newman, you hear from about probably 60 feet, an alley 60 feet away from you, um, a kerfuffle 
going on. Oh, Newman loves kerfuffles. <laughs> <coughs> All right, well, he's going to kerfuffle these pastries into his bag of holding. Mm. He's going to, like, I don't know, sort of move them around in the bag that he has to sort of, like, feed them in <laughs> into the bag I'm, of holding. <laughs> I'm sorry, but I'm going to have to say that's your action. That's fine. Uh, I was expecting that. Yeah. <laughs> Cool. So now he has them all in the bag of holding, yep. and now he's going to use his movement to go to the source of kerfuffle. Now that he doesn't have to hide pastries, he doesn't He doesn't have to hide. Yeah. So he's just, he's just going to go have yeah. a look at this kerfuffle. Yeah, you see Caius. Um, I'd say you'd be getting there at about the time you see Caius slash through these uh, shadows. You recognize these as shadows, like figures you have fought before. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, now he sees that the kerfuffle is... Benign? No, malevolent. Malevolent. So he's going to use his feline agility and get in there as well. Um, he, what does he see? Just like the one shadow? Or? Uh, there's one that's been damaged and then four others in the alleyway. You also see the hulking figure um, that is trying to make its escape. Oh, hulking figure. Okay, where hmm. is it going? Uh... It's hard to ascertain. It's going away from you, though. Away from me. All right. Mm. He instead like is probably, if it's possible, to sort of go in between Caius and the hulking figure, just so he can keep an eye on it, but also check that Caius is okay. Okay. Uh, there is a shadow on either side of you as you do that. You only pass by one that already did an attack of opportunity on Caius, though, so you don't take any attack of opportunities. Mm -hmm. um, and, yeah, so that would probably be your turn. Cool. Uh, Ross, your go. Okay, well, she's gonna... Um, bonus action freak out about Newman being there. Uh, cause she's still in her human form. Yeah. Uh, and she's quite self-conscious about that. But for her actual thing, since she took a lot of damage at the dragon fight an hour and a half ago, she's going to, uh, run her hand across her tambourine. Mm -hmm. And she is going to cast... Detect thoughts on the hulking figure. Okay. She's not going to probe deep. Yeah. She just wants the surface level, which means uh, it doesn't make a save. She just knows the surface level of its thoughts. Okay. She wants to know why it's here. Yeah. Um, surf surface thoughts are need more time, need more knowledge. Okay. Uh, that was technically an action, wasn't it? Yes. Okay, cool. All right. Uh, uh she is also, how far is she, like, in relation to hulking figure, Newman, Caius, her? Uh. She's still, like, near the alley, but, like, in the street. <laughs> um, how, what's the distance on Detect Thoughts? Oh, uh, it, it doesn't have one no 30 feet 30 feet so you would have had to go into the alley to okay yeah not far enough in to take attacks of opportunity but yeah yeah okay um well she's um if she is allowed once she hears that she is also gonna like turn around into the street and be like betty anya all right Let's see if that does Newman, anything. Newman's yeah. just like why is this person calling out? Why is this person <laughs> right. with Caius? Why is it? What? <laughs> so, we have five shadows. Um, they're going to see Ross as an easy target, relatively speaking. Yes, they are. Um, and they're going to do... Uh, they're each going to have an attack against her. Um, did they come from the alley? Uh, yes. Would they have passed by Caius at any point? No, because you're only... Uh, no, not... Okay. Not far enough. Okay, okay well... 
Whatever the first one is, she is going to use cutting words as a reaction. Okay. Um, all right. So, uh, yeah, roll roll the dice for cutting words. Uh, take 15 off whatever that roll was. 15? Yep. Ooh. Does Is that your charisma as well as the dice? No, it's just uh, roll the dice. I rolled a nat 15. It's not a d20 that you roll. For oh. cutting words. Oh, it's you're only D10. Ins- that's right. It's your bardic inspiration dice. <sighs> I'm so intelligent. Minus four. Minus four. Okay, so that is still a total of nineteen. That hits me. So there is a nineteen, a sixteen. Hits. A fifteen. Makes meets. Yes. An eighteen and a seven. So four hit. Caius um, isn't within five feet of this, is he? Because he sort of went a little bit further past. Uh, you'd be within five feet of two of them. Oh, damn. All right. But not Ross. Like, uh, no, not not for her to be able to get to a point where she could have used um, detect thoughts. So... I'm just going to open my hit point counter. I'm just going to go to the damage tab. I'm going to be ready. Thirty-three points of necrotic damage. Yikes. And... Oh, wait, no. That's all the damage you take. Okay. Um... And... Your strength score is reduced by nine. Wait, no, 11. Sorry. So you currently have a strength of one. As you feel all the strength zapped from your body. Okay. Well, uh, she, when that happens, she is gonna, she's gonna fall to her knees, like, Mm -hmm. and... She's going to just be, ah, and she's going to f- fall to her knees. Like, she tried to get cutting words out, and she just couldn't. Yeah. Um, all right. I've just yeah. written that down. I don't know how to change it on yeah. D&D Beyond. Um, um, Caius is just going to really quickly use a sentinel attack on one of those shadows. All right. Roll to hit. Uh, yes. Yeah. 29. Um, yeah. And it probably would have been the one that you attacked before, so... Sure. Yeah. Do you want me to roll? Uh, no. It's on two hit points. Um, yeah. Uh, Anya, you hear from Braxton's... You hear the call from Braxton's shop. It's about... Judging judging from the volume of it uh, and the echo, it's probably about 500 feet away. Um, this is while... Uh, this is probably while you and Bertie are actually having your discussion. So, Bertie, on your turn, you would hear it as well. It's probably to the tail end. To the tail end of it. Um, the hulking figure, uh, is going to disappear into the shadows entirely at this point. Um, Bertie, is there anything you want to do? So, you would have heard the call well i'm just wondering because like i mean would he have because if he like had heard that he wouldn't have left um the second Anya brought that conversation up hmm. so he it pro- gone somewhere else it probably would have been shortly after shortly okay. after the discussion all right um and he does hear that yeah cool hmm all right um, he kind of like turns around and he's like, huh, all right, fine. And he pulls out like the, um, the flips the moon stuff off his back and, um, pulses a bit of energy through it to reg- regain some, um, spell slots because he has none yeah. right now. Okay. So that's your so action. That restores both of my warp slots. Yeah. Okay. And that's all I think. I can- and then I guess he hurries over to the direction yeah. of where that was. Okay. 
but he's a little man. Yeah. Um, he doesn't look pleased, obviously. Yeah. Understand? Um, yeah. <laughs> mm. Caius, there are four shadows left. Yes. This is not good because Ross is down. Well, she's not down, down, but she's, well, like, she's hurt. You know, <laughs> is not looking great. No. And is suddenly no longer able to hold she is anything. Geographically on the floor, so yes. technically down, mm. yes. Geographically, yes. <sighs> okay, that's fine. Um yeah, cool. I guess I'm going to swing it two of them. Yeah, okay, roll to hit. Oops, oops, I caught it. Uh, that's a 23. 23 hits. Uh, and that is 11 piercing. Yep. Uh, and 13 cold. Okay, that's enough to take it out. And then the second one. Then swing at the second one. That is a natural 20. Oof. It's yeah. dead. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's gone. It's, yeah, it's gone. <laughs> For the sake of brevity, like, I don't think you can roll, even with its resistance to cold, I don't think you can roll low enough. Like, low enough. Um, okay. Um, and then I also want to try and do something to help Ross. And there's two of them left, isn't there? Yes. Okay. I'm going to... And I do a stupid thing. Oh no. Wait, no, that doesn't work. Wrong Damn type it. of action? Uh, no, it's a bonus action. I was oh. going to use champion challenge, uh, channel divinity, to try and get them to look at me. But unfortunately, that only means they don't move away from me. They're not, like, actively attacking what? me. Um, similar note... If you ah, uh, you don't have any spell slots left. I was going to suggest compelled duel, but yeah, uh, no, I use that on the dragon. <laughs> yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah. All right. No, I guess because uh, lay on hands. That is an action, yeah. isn't it? Yes. Okay. Uh, yeah, I do nothing. Yeah, Newman, your go. Um. All right. So Newman is going to call out to um, Caius um, at the same time he's also going to try and see what's happening with the shadow dude but he's going to call out to Caius and say uh, do you need some help should I go after that figure it, I, I don't really know what's going on here but are you okay could I respond uh, yeah briefly yeah yeah just okay. keep it short cool then in that case I'll say stay Ross needs help Ross oh okay where's Ross and you look down and see Ross collapsed on the ground. All right. Well, is it but still I'm still looking a... like Ross? Yeah, is it still oh. Ross or is this a weird human person? It's, it's disguise self isn't concentration. It yeah. just stays roll... on for an hour until I drop it. Yeah. Roll roll me roll me an intelligence check. Because you did say that the features were still Ross's features. So Newman She's still in the same outfit. The yeah. only difference is basically the skin tone and no horns. So roll me an intelligence, intelligence check, Newman. 17. 17. So yeah, you're able to put together that this is some sort of disguise that Ross is using. All right, cool. So Newman is going to go... Yeah, straight straight up to, uh, to Ross, um, taking any attack of opportunities that he may. Uh, there are none because he's... There are none. Yeah, he's... There's, like, one you would be engaged with, but you don't move out of its threatened area. Okay, cool. Yeah, just goes straight up. And uh, doesn't really have any proper healing spells prepared. So, instead, um, he will use a bonus action, I guess, to provide a potion. A potion. I believe we're allowed to use the bonus yeah. action still. Bonus action Perfect. to drink yourself. An action to feed to someone else. Action to feed. Right. Yeah. She can use her hands. <laughs> yeah. To give? Like, not to 
make them drink, but to just pass along. If you potion? just pass along, it's an interaction. Okay. Which perfect. you get one free interaction. All right. Uh, it's not much, but uh, just take this, and he gives you um, a potion of greater healing, which, just for the sake of brevity, is four d four plus four. Okay, cool. Uh, but Good this thing is just you're not you're not drinking it; you just have it in your possession, yeah. and I'm he just will setting aside the four d four. And yeah. then, just with his remaining action, um, he's going to take a swipe at one of the shadows just to sort of get him get them away from her. All right, roll to hit. Okay, perfect. I absolutely will. We're going to be using the luck rapier, of course. Yeah. And oh, I was so close to a twenty. I got a dirty twenty. Okay, that hits. All right, perfect. So damage. Oh, that's not too bad. So that's just eleven piercing damage. Eleven piercing damage. Okay, so it's pretty damage, but it's not mm -hmm. dissipated. And I believe I used my bonus to. Um, hand off that potion, so I am... No, that was an interaction. Oh, okay, again. Um, yeah. This one here is with the... The Vicious. The Vicious, I yes. Believe. Just not showing up for some reason. There we go. So, oh, good. That is a 14. Ah, uh, that misses. Yeah, all right, cool. And now Newman just stands there. Yeah. Sort of scratching his head because he is very confused right now. Okay, Ross, your go. Okay, so if I drink the potion, that's a bonus action? Uh, yes. Okay. Well, she's going to, uh, like Anya has done many a time, she's going to uncork the potion with her teeth, mm. uh, drink it, get, oh, so many low numbers. Uh, she's going to get 10 hit points back, baby. Okay. Uh, and then, so that's her Your bonus. strength is still one. <laughs> yep. And then her her action that really makes me wish I'd attuned to the fucking braces for my other chance is that she's going to turn to, I guess, the shadow closest to Newman. Yeah. And she's going to vicious mockery it. Okay. Uh, uh, it and gets a wisdom. Save? Yeah, wisdom. It has to beat 20. Yeah, that's an eight. So no. Okay. <laughs> so it takes Oh, I've reached it takes 3d4 psychic damage. Nice. Okay, and what she says is a uh, in infernal. Okay. She's going to say um get away from my friends. <laughs> All right. And that's her So which would look very weird coming out of a human woman. So. Yeah. Okay. So, roll your damage. Oh, okay. Sorry. I zoned out. <laughs> In the two seconds, I wasn't actively talking. Uh, that is four, six, eight. Yeah, that is enough. It, it dissipates. <laughs> um, all right. It is the, uh, the final remaining shadows go. Uh, it, it is going to attack you. It does, e? yeah, it does have advantage because it's on the ground. You will get a sentinel attack if you choose to take it afterwards, Mitch. Yeah, I will. Um, that is, that is a 23. You can, you me. can, if you still have a bardic inspiration left, you can. All cutting words. Yeah. Okay, so that's a d10. Let's pick one that's going to roll good for me this time, yeah? Minus five. Minus five, so that becomes 18. Which I believe uh, still hits. Uh, yes. <laughs> so that is uh, 10 points of necrotic. And more importantly, strength drain of two. Ross is at zero strength uh, and passes. What? The target dies. No. It just reduces yeah, its you strength die to if zero. Your is below zero. No, 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 no,
Um, Fifteen piercing and ten cold. That is enough to take it out. Awesome. Wait. Yeah. Wait. <laughs> So what happens? Uh, Wait. <laughs> that is that is end of initiative. Uh, okay, cool. Damn, yeah. if only we had someone on our team who could revive a dead party member. I yeah. have revived. Oh, I know yeah. you do. Back. Um, <laughs> Meanwhile, so Anya. Yeah. At this point, she, um, she never got to her point in initiative. Yeah. So it's still within the same six seconds. Yeah. Um. But after hearing a call out, she's like, fucking hell, that sounds like Ross. I can't have two seconds. Braxton, I still want to talk to you. Can you come with me? Yes, yes. And you see him grab like a pouch of uh, components off his uh, bench. Um, Actually- Sorry, I know it's a pain for you to shut up shop, but I feel like maybe with everything that's happened today, you can afford it. You know what? Um, and he takes his, uh, his, uh, yeah, he, he grabs, you see, give me one, give me, give me five seconds. I, I will take these five seconds to save us many more. Um, and you see him quickly rifle through, um, a, a, draw of what you what you make out to be spell scrolls takes one out and reads off it and car grabs you by the arm and casts dimension door and you are immediately at the alley by the rest of the party where you see she she kind of she's like jesus fucking christ give a girl warning next time What's wrong? Ross! <sighs> Why isn't she moving, Caius? I'm kneeling down. I'm putting all 20 um, lay on hands into her. Yeah, Why you extend she... them, they're gone. Why is she human? What What happened? Um, I don't think she'd be human yeah, now, actually, because no, it even would have zapped is, out. Yeah, even though it is not a concentration spell, there is no life force to sustain the spell. Mm. Um... You I see, also want to add, she basically died in Newman's arms at this yeah. point. Yeah. <laughs> um, Anya's just, like, absolutely shaking. She's... Uh, basically, as soon as she's looked at Ross, she is frozen, and she's just shaking on the spot, and she's like, why, why isn't she moving? Someone please explain what has happened. Why is she not moving? You see Braxton, like, shuffling through his component pouch, just trying to, um, get, like, the right diamonds. And you see him go up to Ross and sink the spell slot in. And... Let me double check. Stabs you with a diamond. <laughs> I mean, I mean he, he kind of... valuable now. He kind of does. He, he presses, like, these five diamonds in into your chest and they um dissipate into dust as you f- you feel yourself returning to not just consciousness but life you are on one hit point and your strength is back to 12. Anya in the meantime she's kind of uh rush forward and she's pushed Braxton aside and she's like, what are you doing? Don't touch her. What? <gasps> what happened? It was... Ross, you... I... 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 And she's just going to burst into tears and like bury her head in Newman's chest and she's just going to cry. Okay, 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 okay. It's okay now. It's it's okay. The, Anya, there were some sh- shadows. I, I 
I don't know. I have no, absolutely no idea what's going on. Um, but Caius and Ross were in some sort of trouble, so I came to help. But basically, as I got here, Ross was on the ground already, and then one of the shadows attacked Ross, and they 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 died right <laughs> in front of me. But it looks like it's okay. <laughs> Braxton, thank you. Yes. Thank of you course. so much. It, it, we will repay whatever. I know that's yeah. not a cheap spell to cast. I know it's 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 a lot cheaper than it could have been if if she hadn't called out for help. Okay, excellent, excellent. Thank you so much. Hey, Kaius, are you okay? Um, on seeing Ross wake up, uh, he's just going to sink to his knees. Um, take a beat, um, and then he's going to pick up his, he's going to drop his shield draw his other long sword that's on his side and he's going to walk down the alleyway. Uh, Anya, do you know where Birdie is? I, I... It's probably at around about this point that Birdie, you managed to get to the to the site where you see Caius making his way down the alleyway and Newman and Anya over... What happened here? Ross. Anya's just sort of... What happened here? Where's Kaius going? What What's going on? She's still sort of shaking and she's on her knees now too. Um, she's kind of, and I don't think she's realised that she's doing it, but she's kind of slumped like half against Braxton, like leaning against him because she just could not sit upright otherwise. And she's just kind of... Um, she doesn't look up at Bernie at all and she's just kind of shaking and um, she's uh, sort of whispering to herself and she's like, it, okay, I, and it was my fault this time. Okay. I don't think this was your fault, Anya. Ross is gonna um, sit up and she's gonna say, but I didn't. I she died. Can't, she can't, yeah. She can't hear you. Anya yeah. is like non responsive. I oh, died. Okay. You're talking now, though. <laughs> Are you. You. Oh, you got revived? Yes. That's a thing some healers could do yeah yeah yes. it was braxton braxton came to this everything's good here though everything is fine you need to go after caius though you need to either bring him back here or make sure he's okay because i feel like he's about to do something stupid and i can't leave here at the moment okay um will you be all right ross yeah i'm and she's gonna like like she rubs yeah. her hand over her eyes, but it's like that really aggressive, like, and all her makeup's kind of just smeared up yeah. her face. And she's like, "Go, Braxton needs you." Braxton's going to use the last of his healing light for the day on you, just so you. Oh, and that's a good roll. That's three, <laughs> three fives and a six on d sixes. You feel better than you did so before 15. you died. <laughs> <laughs> Quite you actually, like, feel happier and like, uh, more comfortable. So twenty-one soul. points of healing. He's good. Okay. I'm at where I was literally immediately before I died. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. All right. Um, so Bernie looks at Ross as kind of like struggling with selfie. He's like, okay, okay. He takes out the little dagger from like somewhere in his pocket, runs it over his hand again, and uses like the forefinger of his hand to 
draw like the picture of like a door um, on the side of the wall of the alleyway mm -hmm. um, and then pops the hand there and it suddenly is and he just he says uh, Caius and then jumps through it and that should take him directly to wherever Caius yeah. is it's dimension door obviously yeah and then that that just like there's like a warping energy and then it shuts off instantly like yeah there we go as the like the blood mark that he's made kind of fizzles out yeah um yep and i'd imagine there'd also be like the there's this kind of intermingling of both necrotic and radiant um energy emanating from the from the yep. Um, yeah, so like this really like strange warping energy is like left as like that sort mm. of the blood marking kind of like burns away from the wall, yeah. I suppose. Yeah. And yeah, so he's going to, yeah, that's where he's going to turn up wherever Caius is by this point, running Helter Skelter towards that. Mm. Yeah, yeah uh, Caius, what? How do you react to seeing Bertie? Oh yeah, so I guess like yeah, like look warping the Krog energy like comes and he like just yeah steps out immediately right next to you. Okay, um, so Caius kind of starts and readies his two long swords like he's about to go and stab you, uh, and then immediately on seeing that it's you, drops the long swords to the ground and goes, "I don't know where he's gone." Hey just, hey 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 hey! Just hey. stay. Just hey, stay behind Kais. me. Hi, hi, she's okay. She's she's up. It's fine. What happened? Uh, Kaius is going to use his divine sense to see if he can detect any evil. Okay. Well, I mean, Barry's doing. Um, what, <laughs> what is the range? What is the range on that? Uh, it's sixty feet. 60 feet. That's not behind total cover. Yeah. So I don't know if that factors into it. Yeah. Um, you don't so, detect anything. Okay. And this is the general direction that the shadow figure disappeared. Best, best you can tell. All right. I guess I just keep moving. Caius! <laughs> like, yeah. Um, so here I was after you like, hey, 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 where are you going? We have to find... Whoever attacked us, whoever. Look, it's it's. What do they look like? I didn't get a good look. They're shadows, uh, featureless. Tall. Okay. Tall. All right. All right. Um. Cool. Um. Well, I'm coming with you. So let's 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 have a look. But she's okay. Braxton healed her. It's all good. I'll help um, you. Wait, wait, what, what do they... Okay, we'll, we'll go find them. Caius just continues moving and uses Divine oh. Sense in another 60 feet. Nothing. Very, hurries, very quickly after him. Oh, but yeah. Yeah, you could easily match Caius's speed. Yeah, um, but he's just not well yeah. as well. So he's, it's a yeah. lot of effort. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, back with, yeah, Anya, Ross, Newman, and Braxton. Are you feeling better now? Yeah, I'm... Yeah. And she's gonna look up at Braxton and say, Thank you. Um... Uh, um... Thank you. never died before i don't know what the etiquette is <laughs> don't mention it uh, i mean do it would be great for business but uh <laughs> anya Kind of, she looks up at Ross and she's like, Was she there? What? What? What's. And Braxton puts a hand on your shoulder, Anya. It's like, 
the reason Revivify works the way it does is that uh, the soul has not had the chance to move on to the beyond. Uh, Ross's spirit would not have moved past the prime material by the time we got to her. She nods really slowly and she, she um she just kind of she looks up at Russ and she's like I am I'm so sorry that I wasn't there Kito don't don't, don't make this guilt I fought him. And I didn't look like one of your shadows, didn't look like a dragon. I fought him, I died, that's me. Don't make this another thing you carry with you. You have enough. I'm still... I'm still sorry that you had to go through that. I'm glad Caius was with you. Thank you. And thank you for calling out. You you did good, kid. You knew exactly what you needed to do. Well, she just kind of um, just exhausted. She just kind of flops her forehead forward onto like Ross's knees because <laughs> I'm imagining they're like right in front. And she's just like, yeah. she just like takes a deep breath and breathes out. She's like, well, Ro- before Braxton says what yeah. he's about to say, Ross is also going to a, she's going to like pat. Newman's like hand wherever it is on her not like in a kitty kitty kind of way just in like and she's gonna be like I'm sorry you watched that are you okay ah it's it's not something you sort of get used to seeing it's not something I particularly want to get used to seeing so could you just please (laughs) not do that again (laughs) and that would be greatly appreciated I won't make it a habit thank you Uh, Um, Uh, but I'm fine you don't you don't need to worry about me you don't need to worry about me at all Anya Anya quite blindly sort of reaches up and pats the side of Newman's arm and she's like good kitty (laughs) well Anya, I think you were right about one thing. I think it's time for some explanations. And that's where we're going to leave it for this week. Oh, okay. Oh my god. (laughs) I am so sorry, Zoe. (laughs) (laughs) I genuinely... (laughs) Braxton's a legend, so it's all cool. Everything's gonna be just fine. I was so ready for you to be reincarnated, though. (laughs) It's such a cool spell. It is such (sighs) a cool spell. (laughs) Look, look, I like, I I knew someone had to have a healing spell, but like before I remembered Braxton existed, I was like, if I die, you could not pay me to stay on this podcast. I was gonna leave. (laughs) I was gonna like. You know, I'm waking up um, my housemate and your actor just history. full yeah, dramatic walks out. <laughs> I am Thanks. done with this. Thanks for <laughs> listening. Yeah. Anger Thanks. Anyway, Thanks. Sorry, sorry for, for listening. listening. Yeah, sorry, sorry for dying. Uh, okay, <laughs> goodbye. Bye.
Yes. My stomach hurts from the trauma that I have experienced oh, over the past geez. two episodes. Very fun. Mitch, are you okay? <laughs> Fuck. He's here's right here's an interesting addendum. If a non-evil humanoid dies from this attack, a new shadow rises from the corpse 1d4 hours later. That's interesting. Oh, I hate that. I am, I am going to rule that shadow? because... Yeah. Shadow I'm going to rule yeah. because you were, <laughs> like, revived. That's not going to happen. Oh, oh. But, it should, oh. 